Hey guys, so today is the second day of the games of summer for the gun course. Uh, I actually got the gold medal in gun course. Before the video starts, I do want to mention I am giving away the Morte Operator Bundle. It's going to be shown on screen. All you have to do is subscribe to the channel, like this video, and follow my Twitch and or Twitter in the description below. You guys have been killing it on the channel. Last video got over 15,000 views, and you guys have subbed to me like 300 plus times in one day. So thank you guys so much for that. We just hit 35,000. We're at like 35,300. Thank you guys, and let's go ahead and get into it. Alright, hey guys, Kando here, and in today's video, we're going to talk about how to get the gold medal in gun course or the fastest way possible. Now, obviously, if you're a really good shot, it should be easier, but I'm going to tell you guys, I'm going to walk through this. Um, first, I'm going to show you my gold medal run, and then I'm going to walk through it with you guys, just so you guys kind of understand it. Now, the guns I used... Um, you could use the Fennec, but I use the Striker 45 and the CR56 AMAX. I would recommend also with the Striker if you're not a good shot. Um, I just kept it to single fire instead of uh, full auto. So I definitely recommend that. So let's go ahead and look at my gold medal run and then let's break it down from there. All right, the fifth time's the charm. You go first because I've been messing this up. You're all dead. I'm spraying. I don't care. Yep, you're there. You're there. Oh, got a switch. Oh, that just messed up my timing. I don't care though. You're dead. Behind you. Behind the couch. Go, go, go. You're behind the walls. This is so hard. Go, go. Just don't shoot a civilian and we're chilling. Just don't shoot a civilian and we're chilling. Didn't shoot one yet. We're good. Gotta reload. Break this door open. Why am I not? There we go. You're dead. You're dead. You're dead. Boom. 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 Oh. Oh. oh quick. Come on. Go, go, go. Wait, my time passed? No. Oh, I got it. What? I got minus four seconds for not shooting a civilian. Holy hell. Oh my God. We got the gold medal, boys. We got minus two seconds for accuracy. Never mind. It wasn't shooting a civilian. The accuracy. So I'm going to mute the VOD and you're going to see it right here. So four enemies spawn with two civilians. One spawns in the back end. I recommend shooting this first one first. That's how I did it. Then you go ahead and spray or shoot however you want for these next three. Uh, so four total enemies spawn. I kill the four right here. And then another couple enemies spawn right here. I already know the, the pattern of it. You have one right here, two to the right after you shoot this guy, and then there's two in the back side. So there's a total of six enemies and 10 total enemies, and then there's one more, so it makes it 11. So actually there was five in the beginning and six in the second one, so it's five and then six. Uh, unlucky that I missed the shot right here, but if you guys are accurate, you guys get subtracted points or subtracted seconds. So I ended up getting three seconds subtracted because of my accuracy, and I didn't shoot a civilian, that's the reason why. So boom right here, you have those two, you have the one behind the couch, which is pretty difficult to get so you shoot those three and then the fourth is in this little room right here behind that behind the couch this is a little difficult right here i didn't realize that there were two people to my right so i would definitely recommend shooting these two to the right first and then shoot this uh female behind the couch last because you have to turn left anyway so it shaves off about a second there's nikto right there holding a gun up uh boom you hit him on the right side and now i you end up have to reload or you end up having to reload um if you get every single bullet correctly you don't have to reload but i definitely recommend reloading before this door because you can actually finish it without having to reload again so i shoot these next six guys right here there's going to be five enemies in this next room behind this door uh make sure there's going to be an enemy to your left make sure to shoot that person to your left there's two of them i missed it the first time and i didn't realize it i also accidentally mess up without bursting through the door so you have this enemy right here that's one two and three there's three in front of you and then there's two to your left right here that is needed to be finished obviously right here to your left there's two of them so that's five in this room now you have seven enemies left to kill these next seven are crucial make sure not to hit a civilian because you get seconds shaved off of your time that's one that's two and that's three so if you see you have four enemies remaining going into the last uh stretch one is right up here that's the easiest target to hit I miss it, obviously, because that's just me. And then you have the next two in front of you, which is really, really important. And then when you finish this, just go to a full-on sprint. That's why I recommend using the SMG or a pistol, because you can get there in time. You can see I passed the finish line with 41.7 seconds, but that's fine because I get three seconds shaved off my personal best time or my time because I didn't shoot a civilian and my accuracy was perfect. Now, in the video, obviously, it wasn't perfect because it was slowed down, but it was honestly really, really good. So hopefully you guys did enjoy this video on this breakdown of how to get the gold medal in gun course. If you did, go ahead, leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that great stuff. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. My name's Kando. I absolutely love you guys, and you guys have been killing on the channel. I've been loving the support. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm out. Peace and love. Peace.